welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, it's market outlook time. Let's talk about what we should see this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. We've been on a roll with some good SBCs. The whole Libertadores content to me is just kind of average. It's just kind of okay. So let's talk through a lot of this stuff. We're expecting some big SBCs this week as well as Champions League. So there's a ton that we need to talk about this week for stuff in the game. This, you know, Champions League kind of creates content out of its own in foot, right? With the road to the final cards. So I don't know if EA is going to do a bunch on the two Champions League days, but we'll talk about that a little bit. I'll talk about the teams playing. And again, the SBCs, Player of the Month SBCs in particular this week could be massive for foot. Uh, and the stuff and the content that we see and the market movements that we have seen. But just a little recap of what's been going on. We are in the middle of the Economy Bowl Libertadores slash foot player days promo, which has been, you know, headlined by half price packs, two for one pack lightning rounds, uh, and prime icons and draft bonus weekend league player picks. Here's the page. We'll take a look at it right now. So this is the stuff that's basically been going on um, this weekend. And it's just so far, just kind of an average promo. I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. I want to, I do want to talk about stuff that could be coming later this week, because I think this is actually a two week promo. I do think this is going to be a two week promo from EA based on what they've said in here. Uh, because since they're including Icon Swaps set three as a part of this Foot Player Days promo, Icon Swaps is going to be on this Friday. This Friday is when that's going to be starting. Friday at 6 p.m. UK is when they reset all the Icon Swap stuff. So we'll be talking about that, maybe looking at a prediction later this week. But um, since they included this as a part of Foot Player Days, that makes me think that it's going to be coming and this is going to be a two week promo. So that's kind of my thinking around with that. But of course, we have Champions League and Player of the Month stuff coming this week that I think is going to kind of take precedence over everything else that we've seen related to this promo in Foot. I think that stuff is going to be more important this week than actually the, the promo that we're in. Um, later this week so let's start with the beginning of the week what are we going to see to start the week off T as early as today as early as today we could see another one of the biggest sbcs we've ever seen in foot and that would be player of the month messi because this courtois player of the month card goes away in 16 hours from when i'm recording this that'll be 6 p.m uk time um on monday so monday 6 p.m uk this will be away messi should either be coming today or tomorrow i think and there's not been a lot of panic a lot of there's not been a ton of market downturn that's specifically related to messi just yet in my opinion just because i don't know if there's as much hype for this sbc for the second time around i really think that is what is um what we can pinpoint here as not a lot of panic for this sbc last time it was before team of the year uh and we're gonna have a player of the month messi card because he won player of the month uh, this Messi right now, the group stage Messi is 1.815, 1 1 which is very low, but uh, it's not that low. It is lower, but that's just not like a, a panic sell low. This is low because the market is losing coins. I mean, take a look at some of these icon moments prices. If we go to my transfer targets, I've been looking at some of these. This Garincha sold last night at 3.5. He's 3.6 right now. He was 4 mil all last week. This Clivert card, how much is he? He's 1.1 mil. He was 1.5 last week. This Essien card was like 2.3, 2.4 last week. He's now 2.1 mil. So a ton of special cards, high rated icons, icon moments are dropping like mad on the market right now. Um, big time percentage points of drops be just because what happened this week with this promotion. And again, I, I mentioned this earlier this week. I said, hey, watch out for the market drops this week because whenever they do half coin packs and two for one packs, people end up rinsing their club's worth of coins to go and open these packs that are in the store. Tonight, when I was on stream for Squad Battle Rewards, I opened up a lot of viewers' Squad Battle packs. We didn't get much that was good, but what I noticed when I logged into all of their foot accounts was with on the share play, none of them had coins. I, multiple guys that I went and opened rewards for uh, had like less than 100,000 coins, which is kind of baffling to me. Now, I, I didn't look to see if they were invested in fodder, which would probably be a smart move. But um, there's just, I think a lot of people don't have coins right now. So they're, they're having to sell cards to go do stuff on the game. And right now, there's a decent amount of things to do in SBCs. 
Flashback Marcelo Diaz, if you're trying out some of these uh, Libertadores players, you might need him for your squad. That's not a bad value SBC. The, the Neymar SBC, people are still completing. We got this today. This is a good value SBC in my opinion. This is an end game, team of the season, team of the year level almost, left back in Alexandro. It's either him or Alex Tellez for the best Brazilian left backs. And this is probably a top three left back in the game. Honestly, team of the year Robertson, Alexandro, and Tellez are like the best, three best left backs in the game. Maybe Tierney you could throw in there too, but um, those, like this is an SBC that a lot of people went to do today and still high rated. SBC fodder did not rise because there were so many packs that are being opened this weekend. So um, that's what I want to talk about for the early in the week stuff. I do think we're going to see this player of the month, Messi, come earlier in the week. Um, I don't know about any other player SBCs, but um, I mean, we've had, we had a moments SBC on Friday with Dominic Sanchez. We had Marcelo Diaz on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we had um, Alexandro. So we're getting a player SBC every single day. And that's, again, why I'm saying, yo, boys, these two-for-one packs are going to be stopping this weekend. That's why I'm a fan of going and buying some of the high-rateds. But Messi Player of the Month coming soon. Also, later this week, we're going to get another Player of the Month player. Uh, and this man made, again, hyped himself up today in the United versus um, City game, which United ended up winning. Wow, here it is. So the player of the month voting is actually over already. So player of the month winner will be announced soon. And based on the voting, which it's not showing me right now, uh, it's Bruno Fernandez basically should be the one who's going to be winning it. This is interesting. Thanks for voting. Player of the month winner will be announced soon. Oh, since I voted, I can't see it. Are you kidding me? That's kind of trash, man. Whatever. Uh, but I did vote for Bruno Fernandez. Usually I don't vote on these. I didn't know that once you voted, uh, you can't see the whoever's in the, the voting anymore. What the heck, man? But um, I think the, the Premier League Player of the Month, Aguero, is now gone. And we should be getting Player of the Month, Bruno Fernandez, this week as well. I do think it'll be on Friday because I only think they do Player of the Months for the Premier League on Friday. But we'll have a video later this week talking about that. That's going to be a very hyped up SBC for United fans, which there are a lot of in this game, to get themselves a Portugal, Portuguese, probably an 89 or a 90 rated Bruno Fernandez Player of the Month card this week week so i'm going to be talking about that card later this week as i think it's going to be hyped up a lot let's talk about uh champions league and you know what we'll talk about high rateds right now we'll talk about these first kind of focusing on the more markets type stuff for these cards high rateds are still low and you're like yo nate why do you want us to buy these cards right now at this time well again the two player of the months that i just talked about i think these cards have great rise potential they were just forty-five thousand coins uh, before this weekend doesn't show on the hourly graph anymore these 89s i'm a huge fan of the most they were ever since we got out of like this post january time frame they were 42k and they were just kind of chilling at 35,000 coins like for weeks we were like hey ea sports drop some sbcs these cards just kept creeping down lower and lower and lower we got ramos we got the guaranteed shapeshifter and some other good value sbcs which required 87 88 rated squads and that pushed up these cards in price, especially the Ramos. The Ramos SBC pushed these up a decent amount. And now you see these at 45,000 coins on Thursday of last week. And now they've quickly resumed back down to 35K, a lot of these 89s. Again, with Messi coming up, he's going to require probably multiple 89 rated squads. With Bruno Fernandez coming up, who could require 87 and 88 rated squads. And then Ramos and Sandro still being in the store. I am a fan of this high-rated SBC fodder. I like 87, 88s, and 89s the most. Uh, but I still, 86s, 12, 13K for these cards. Cheap. 85s, cheap. 84s. These cards are cheap, man. SBC fodder is still very cheap. Even some of these 83s at 1K are not a bad buy either. Because we could be getting more SBCs during this week. We There's a possibility of a guaranteed Team of the Week SBC. 1 through 25. There's a lot of people expecting that. A lot of people that are buying 83s and 84s for that. Um, there's also a possibility of best of team of the week cards coming back into packs on Friday. If this is truly a two-week promo, it almost seems like EA would do first week related to Kami Bowl Libertadores, second week related to the best of players, if this is actually going to be two weeks. Um, so we had this last year, and this is, again, I talked about this last week. I was hoping to see this in foot for this foot player days promo. I thought we were going to get best of informed players 
for this promo. We did not get them yet. I do have a feeling, though, it could be coming this next week. So that's something to be, you know, on the ready and be kind of prepared for just in case it happens. That would cause some market crashes this week as well. But that's more of a Friday thing. And again, Friday, we have the new icon swaps, the possibility of best of informs and packs, and then maybe even more content along with that. But uh, we'll, I'm going to stay away from talking about this too much because I feel like that's later in the week kind of stuff. Again, player of the month, Champions League stuff, and investing in this high rated fodder. Uh, not these guys, right here. Investing in some of this high-rated fodder I think is a great move. I'm going to be honest, boys. This is the most high-rated fodder that I have bought in all year. Um, I've got a couple pages worth of these 88s and these 89s um, from today. So this is kind of like what my transfer list looks like right now. I also have five Renan Lodis about these today because of the Alexandro SBC. He That Renan Lodi is a very hyped-up left back in this game. A lot of people have been using that card lately. They say it's very, very good. Um, now, of course, people could be switching over to get Sandro now, but this card was 190K, 185 to 190K in the panic sale today. I picked up a decent chunk of them at 187 to 190K. So those five cards there. And right now I'm breaking even on tax. This is a couple hours after the SBC has come out. Uh, and I would expect this card, especially if Atletico do good this week against Liverpool, if they can somehow pull it out, I think this card could be back to 220,000 coins very easy. And we're looking at almost 20K a card on those on those uh, Renan Lodis that I bought. So I bought that as kind of like a panic sell with the possibility of a rebound investment because a lot of people use that left back card Lodi in this game. And that's something you guys can always be on the lookout for. Um, we had some big time drops of Premier League center backs when the Sanchez came out. Uh, one of those cards that specifically dropped was Ake. Nathan Ake's winter refresh card, which was which has been around 200,000 coins, dropped down to like 160k on it was like 155k honestly on uh, Friday when that SBC came out. So he's now he's back up a little bit, but you can you can see this guy pop at 160k at some time, especially right now with the weekend league sell off. This is a very rare card. A lot of people still use it. If you see this card back at 155 or 160. Um, on the weekly sell off or at any point, I think this card should rise back to 175 or 180. This is a card that a lot of people use. So I'm kind of, I'm keeping an eye on this card as well. It's just an OP card, a cheap beast, I guess you could say for this point in the game. So trading this week, be very careful with the icons. They're probably going to fluctuate um, and then be very careful with special cards as well. But that could be where you trade a little bit this week. Just kind of familiarize yourselves and know that a lot of cards have dropped in price significantly. Even some of these, uh, even some of these shapeshifters that we have been looking at in the past couple of days. Um, I think Furlan Mendy has dropped. Oh, Mbabu was a, a one that I saw today. This Mbabu card, where is Kevin Mbabu with a midfielder? Right. This card was like four hundred thousand coins on the weekend. And earlier today, he was 359. But you can see these rare cards fluctuate a ton. He's back up to 375, 380. Now, if you bought it at 359, there's not really much profit there. I mean, a tiny bit, but not much. So um, just be careful with these. If you see a bunch of, of, of selling, and it's a very meta card that a lot of people use, you should be able to fluctuation trade a good amount this week with some of these special cards. Now, Let's talk about Champions League for the rest of this video because I think there are some massive Champions League opportunities this week. I want to talk about the games that we have because we have more Road to the Final upgrades on tap. And this is the stuff that gets me pumped up for Champions League games. I love these, right? These cards are so fun to follow. The prices are so crazy. And again, these cards are really rare and fun to trade with. That's why I want to spend time talking about them. Voice crack with you guys today. Again, now we're into the point where... It doesn't just matter if teams win. Teams have to move on to get upgraded for the rest of Champions League. That's how it works, right? Uh, Leipzig versus Tottenham. We have two games on Tuesday and two games on Wednesday. It's the same as a couple weeks ago, right? Tottenham versus Leipzig. Tottenham is very down. I mean, I'm a Tottenham fan, so I know a lot about this matchup. I do not think that Tottenham is going to be able to pull this out. I actually believe they're playing behind closed doors as well. And that might be the case for some of these other games because of the coronavirus stuff. Um, so just be careful with that. You you know, I don't think that would affect the game too terribly much, but uh, that kind of sucks for those players. And, and, you know, for us too, you don't get to experience the actual atmosphere. Or if you guys were planning on attending the game, if any of you guys were going to go to any of these games, 
um, that kind of sucks for you guys because I think they're closing the doors for some of these games. Um, but in relation to Road of the Final Cards, this game doesn't have that much weight to it. Um, Atlanta has such a huge lead. I'm not seeing much here. Leipzig has got the away goal and the 1-0 aggregate lead over Spurs. So that means Spurs would have to score two to, to win. Uh, but if it is 1-1, it would go to Pens, I think, right? Because they both scored away goals. And if if Tottenham can win the second leg or, you know, go to 1-0 in the second leg, they would go to Pens. I don't know if they do extra time or not. I'm not up to date on my... It's been a while since Champions League has gone to like an extra time format. Uh, a game has gone to extra time in like a knockout setting. So... Yeah, I don't think Tottenham's going to come back here. And that's why I'm really watching Yoris. Um, he's not in this squad. He's in Road to the Final Set 2. But I'm really watching Yoris this week because I think that Yoris, if Tottenham lose, he's going to bottom out probably around 100,000 coins or maybe even below that. And I do think he will rebound from that low point because Yoris is the best French keeper in the game. A lot of people use that card in FIFA. And I'm really interested in these two games right here. PSG is down on aggregate 2-1. to one. Liverpool is down on aggregate 1-0. Uh, to zero. And I'm going to talk about these two games right here. I want to talk about Marquinhos first. This card has dropped a, a nice amount since they have lost in that first uh, first leg matchup. 257,000 coins. I bought one. It's on my transfer list for 237. I do think PSG has a strong chance to come back. That's kind of why I'm buying him. Now, these are very risky investments. These are very, very risky investments because, again, Liverpool hasn't been playing that hot, uh, specifically talking about them. I, if I see this money at like 865 or 870 at any point in the next couple days, I'm going to consider buying it because I think Liverpool, if Liverpool do win, this card has the potential to be like 1.1 to 1.2 million coins. After he could get the upgrade, uh, he would go to a 91 rated. If uh, Liverpool can score the goal and move through the, to the next round. Again, that's a big if, right? Because they're down right now. But if you think they have that ability to come back, I'm a huge fan of this card because this one could be big time profit. Um, going back over to like 1.2 mil on that card right there. Uh, now, of course, the other two cards for PSG and for Liverpool uh, are SBCs. So they're not on the market. But let's ch talk about the other side of the coin. Uh, Sancho. What about Sancho, right? Sancho's card right now, I think, is like 250, 260,000 coins, right? For this road to the final uh, Jaden Sancho. If they do not win and do not move on to the next round, this card is going to become like 175k or below. Like these, these cards will literally get cut in half. But again, this Sancho card is very good. It's very OP in game. There's a lot of Bundesliga links in this game. You know, people that have Royce, people that have Holland, right? A lot of hype around Dortmund and Bundesliga, and he's English as well. This would be another card. These UCL cards, UCL rares, if they get knocked out of the competition, they are very rare cards this year. Once they hit that very low point after, you know, a couple hours after the game ends, they will hit a low point from all the people selling because the card is no longer going to be upgraded. There will be cards that rise from that point because um, they're just usable and they're good in game and they just... They just dropped to a price that is too low with all the panic selling. So that's one of the things I want you guys to be prepared for this week is the panic selling post game and which cards are going to rise. I really like Sancho and I really like Yoris because I'm expecting PSG to come back and I'm expecting Tottenham to not be able to pull it off. Somehow if Tottenham pull it off, then we'll, you know, we'll uh, deal with that when it comes. But for the games this week, I think Liverpool is going to come back. I think PSG is going to come back and I do not think Tottenham is going to come back. So that's just kind of my feelings on some of the stuff. Who did I sell? I sold this Lineker, GG's. I tried him out for Weekend League. He was pretty average. But again, that's my thoughts on the road to the finals this week. Should be some crazy market movements. I think we have Europa League games as well. Let me check on this for sure. I want to, do we have Europa? We do. We have Europa League games on Thursday um, with, again, these cards have the possibility to get upgraded because of the... Um, moving on to the next round but of course this is leg one of two for these um for these games in the europa league sevilla and roma is a big one it's the battle of the brazilian center backs with juan jesus and uh diego carlos man united looks like to have a pretty pretty solid advantage here over lesk uh, and it looks like they're pretty promising to get a dub martial should stay high in price for that um some of the other games let me think of some other which ones are important here uh, Wolves, we have Raul Jimenez, and then Rangers and 
then Leverkusen is interesting because of Wendell and because of um, the untradeable left mid Kent, which a lot of people run uh, in their teams. Let me check Wendell for a second right here. Because how much is this card at the moment? This card was extinct at like 40,000 coins. He was 65K. I wonder if he dropped it all today because of... No, he didn't. He's 75,000 coins, man. People are buying this card up. He keeps going higher because uh, people are realizing he'll go to an 86 if uh, Leverkusen can move on to the next round. So I think there's a lot of hype around this card at the moment. Um, just saying with that. Although, if you're on a cheaper budget, again, we're looking at the UCL schedule, right? Uh, the games that are being played early this week, uh, if we're looking at Leipzig, Tottenham, Valencia, Atlanta, PSG, Dortmund, and Liverpool, um, I don't remember who was in uh, the marquee matchups last time around, but I would expect for them to do another UCL marquee matchups and another UCL pack supply SBC at some point this week. So that's something that you could invest more if you wanted to. Maybe look at some, um, some Tottenham or some Leipzig players Valencia or Atlanta, some of these special cards, like the Champions League rares. How much are uh, Spurs Champions League rares right now? Let me just check this really quick. I don't remember which SBC they required last time either. So this might be something that you might have to kind of inquire with the last time, whatever they did for UEFA marquee matchups last time. But uh, 650 for Gazzaniga right there, Getson and Davies. So these are pretty cheap, 800 coins for these. You can probably get these on, on bid, pretty cheap as well. But I feel like they might put Liverpool in this time. I don't know if they did last time. Again, you might have to go and check and just to make sure. Because I don't know if they repeat these. But Milner is a thousand coins. So you know what? I'm just going to... I'm actually not going to buy that because I don't do a lot of this investing. But if you think there's going to be UEFA marquee matchups, some of these rare cards could go up because you'll probably have to turn in some, um, some of them from those teams that are playing this week. So again, play the month SBCs. Um, more SBCs just related around the Libertadores content. Um, the player of the month, though, I think are the biggest thing in my mind that's coming this week. And then, of course, Champions League content is also at the forefront of our minds this week. I'm pretty excited for that. We will see what happens with the Libertadores stuff again. I'm just not so sure what's going to be going on with that. And then the man of the matches that are in packs right now. Um, you know, Igalo is in packs right now. If you have... Is this how you spell Igalo? Yes, it is. If you have the ability, which I think a lot of you guys should... I think all of you guys right now should go and pick up one of these cards at basically discard. This, this guy is literally discard price. Um, any of the discard man of the matches, just go on footbin and search for the, the, the man of the matches that are in packs. Any of them that are discard, you can get at 9,900 coins or 10,000 coins flat. Please go and snag those because they're, they're just discard investments, right? And this card is probably going to rise like 15K out of packs. Fred was a, a discard man of the match last week. And uh, look where Fred is now. Fred is, I think Fred is like 15 or 16,000 coins. Fred is, oh my goodness. Fred is, what? Fred is 18,000 coins. And this guy was discard. You could buy him by the thousands last week was when he was in packs. So that's 7,000 coins a card um, right there. Because there's basically no tax at this range. So discard man of the matches are a great investment, especially if they're from a team like United or from uh, a team that is very, knowledgeable and have a lot of fans and very popular so that's the market outlook for this week if you guys enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out